My name is Aarti Gupta. I'm one of the conference co-chairs. And uh, the reason we organize this conference is because we think it's very important to study the relationship between transparency and sustainability. And I think what I have found most striking in the two-day discussion that we've had is something that I had, uh, I'm moving towards in my own research, but it's confirmed to me that this is actually where the research, the future research agenda is. And that's this notion of sort of anticipatory transparency as opposed to retrospective transparency. So for example, we think about making transparent what has already happened in the environmental realm. And then through that, to try to see whether disclosure about existing practices, existing behaviors, et cetera, can do something to change those behaviors. So it's about decisions that have already been made and actions that have already been taken, and you're disclosing information about those. And those can, that kind of retrospective transparency can have many beneficial effects, though again, my research has always suggested that we should look at this through a critical lens. What is the broader contested uh, context within which transparency arrangements, even retrospective transparency arrangements actually work? And do they empower and do they result in changes of behavior, et cetera? That's all too often very easily assumed. And my research suggests that we should actually take a much more critical look at that. But more importantly, I think what's crucial is to look towards the kind of transformations in sustainability that we need for the future and what role transparency can play there, where the very nature of the problem, the environmental or sustainability challenge, may not be well understood. So it's not even clear what needs to be disclosed, who should disclose it, and for what purpose, and where do we want to go, what's our ultimate destination. And so the question then becomes, what role can transparency play in sort of transformative politics of the future? And I think that's something that we need to very much look into. And that's what I look forward to researching as the next stage.